Okay guys, today I would like to share with you my Samsung Wi-Fi enabled smart fridge. You are now looking at the screensaver of the 8 inch display. And I'm going to go ahead and tap right here. And that takes us into our home screen. Starting at the bottom left you have a memo app. You can pin memos just to the screen right there. And you can also save them to show up on your home screen as well. Um, I have that deactivated right now. There is a photo app. You can load your Picasso photo album or also save them from your memory card, but I do not have a memory card installed right now. Epicurious, you have all your recipes right at your fingertips. You can browse featured recipes or search by ingredients. Um, you can also store your favorites in a shopping list. There's a Google Calendars, but as you see, I do not have an account for Google Calendars and I do not use that feature. There's a weather bug app, which I use quite often. It shows it's 80 degrees here today in Texas. And we have two active alerts. There's a fire weather warning in effect till 6 p.m. and a wind advisory till 6 p.m. That's nice and convenient to have anytime you have anything going on in your local area. You have the AP News, which lets you choose and select your favorite browsing topics. Pandora, which is the part of this touchscreen device that I use the most when I'm cleaning my kitchen or cleaning my house and I am oh, it's not let me pause it right now. I don't want to copyright have any copyright infringements going on here. Um, I use this while I'm cooking or doing the dishes, cleaning my kitchen. It's very, very convenient. Um, the only thing I don't really like is, I think it needs like an update. Um, it'll let you scroll through all the saved playlists you have, but it won't let you remove one or add one. Um, you have to do that either from your smartphone or from just the internet site. Twitter. Twitter's kind of along the same lines. It will let you read your feeds, but it will not let you post a tweet. And then right here you have the settings. Um, there's the screensaver theme, which I keep mine on the clock, but you can, once you upload photos, you can do photos, your Epicurious, your Google Calendars, your AP News, Weather, Pandora, Twitter. I keep mine on weather and clock, excuse me. There's an energy saver feature, which this has excellent ratings below, um, I think it's like 15% below the recommended, um, or not recommended, but the, um, absolute highest that you can have settings and still fall in the category of energy saver. I think it's 15% below their deadline there. Um, that has a door alarm, which is really nice that after your door, if you've accidentally left your refrigerator or freezer door open too long, it beeps until you um, come and push the button and acknowledge that you know it's shut. So that's convenient. I've had to use that feature as well. There's a um, dispenser lock. So if you have little kids, their fingers aren't up here hitting it. Um, you're going to turn your ice maker off. Um, excuse me, I went up too fast. Shows your status of your water filter, which is good. Then you have your display, volume, time, date, Wi-Fi, and Wi-Fi networks. Your temperature converter, your dispenser light, which I keep on. Um, cooling off. I don't understand what that part is, I'm sorry. Um, the touch screen correction. Uh, the system, or the software update, and then your smart grid. And then right here on your home screen, you tap cubed, and then it's either cubed or crushed, is how you switch it right there. And your temperature of your refrigerator as well. It'll pop up here in a second. You just select which one you want. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look inside that drawer. Um, there's dividers in here so that you can section things off if you need to. Um, as I said, I keep mine on cold drinks, which is 32 degrees. I like to have my... Uh, soft drinks and water and our juices and there's a few puddings and uh, random fruit cups and there's a few beer floating around in the back there. And then down here is the freezer part and the freezer works well. I have no issues with the freezer itself. However, as you heard, there is a door here that allows for the passage of pizzas when you stand the box up inside the freezer this way. 
very convenient, except for there's two sides to this um, piece here that you have to connect. And let me try to show you how it goes. You have to connect it, and then there's one that goes on this side as well, and you have to slide it in here. Well, once I get it on there, I slide it in, and I go to get my other one, I come back, try to put that on there, and this one has fallen out. So, so minus the fact that I hate this feature, which I'm just going to take it out of there, or it's going to continue to fall. Um, you have this slide out door, which it's nice and convenient to keep things that you want to easily access. Um, my daughter's a vegetarian, so I keep her... Uh, vegetarian, uh, we call it fake meat, but we keep her um, vegetarian dishes at the top up here so that um, any packaged meat I have or anything doesn't have any ability to leak through um, and touch any of her stuff. I was a vegetarian myself, um, so I understand what that's like even though I went back to eating meat. I don't subject her to that. Um, overall, I am extremely impressed with this refrigerator. Uh, the retail price is about $3,500, so that's not so good, but other than that, it's extremely easy to pack and load up with everything that you can possibly want, and um, the features with the Wi-Fi touchscreen are, I'm a geek, so I love it. I think they're fun. Um, is it necessary? No, it's not. Uh, however, um, I got a good deal on this refrigerator, so if I had the opportunity to get a equal fridge of the same size capacity and price without the Wi-Fi enable touch 8 inch touchscreen I would obviously go for the 8 inch touchscreen as well but I didn't pick this one solely on that we were very impressed with the doors and um, the drawer that you got to choose your own setting there and one thing I forgot to show when I was inside here let me see if I can focus the camera without these doors shutting uh, Inside here, it also features LED lighting, which there's blue lights that come on in the back there, and then there's LEDs up here at the very top, and as well on the doors. And then, see, as you can tell, my drawers are also lit up, so that's very nice as well. All in all, I would recommend this to anyone. Um, who wants the features in, built into the screen on the door. Um, do I think it's necessary? No. Is it a luxury? Absolutely. Um, maybe you don't have a smartphone, so that would be very convenient for you to have. I have mine. It's always on me. I'm always using it. So it's not necessarily a necessity for me. But I'm very happy with this refrigerator. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, I do wish the price was a little cheaper. And let me tell you, I am not happy with the finish other than it looks pretty, but I have to uh, polish it down on a daily basis to keep fingerprints up. I can actually see fingerprints right now on the brush stainless finish that um, have been created just from me handling the doors and everything throughout this video. Now let me see if I can swing around here without making too much of a mess. The sides, here's my daughter's lunch for school. Um, the sides of the doors are not stainless wrapped around. It's actually, uh, I don't know what the material is, <laughs> but it's just like any refrigerator that you've had in the past. Um, so magnets do stick on the side. That's why we keep her lunch menu at school. Although she takes her lunch, she just never, never eats at school. But, um... We do have that posted there due to the fact that they don't stick on the front. Besides that, I'm not going to stick a bunch of magnets on the front of my $3,500 pretty refrigerator. I think it's aesthetically pretty and um, I think that detracts from, detracts from it other than something like a family photo, but I obviously have the option to do that on the screen as well. Anyways, I want to thank you for taking a look at my video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I hate this. Um, I absolutely hate this feature of it.